Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? I hope you're good. Welcome to my little Airbnb in the middle of nowhere. If you haven't been following me for the past year and a half now, <laughs> um, I was supposed to move to Japan a year and a half ago, Corona happened and then Japan just stayed closed to every kind of visa. I have a student visa and uh, yeah, I've been on hold for a year and a half, lived a year in my auntie apartment in Brussels, lived six months at my mom's, well, with my mom and her husband and then for personal reasons I had to move out on the 1st of October which is why I'm in this Airbnb for one month hoping that the borders are going to reopen by then right now i am feeling very pessimistic about it i'm sorry to like start the video like this but today i woke up and i was pissed off i was angry because nothing is moving and a year and a half is too much without any uh, information or communication from the japanese government so i'm sorry to start the video this way but today i'm so mad i woke up mad i was like did i just spend this much money to extend this weight, this weight that has no end, did I just pay for an extra month of no news, of, of no communication? What am I gonna do at the end of this month if there's no news about the borders reopening? What do I do? So yeah, I am venting this right now because I'm supposed to take this month to, you know, like be in the countryside and be, you know, like rest and not be stressed out but i'm freaking stressed out i can't pay my bills i can't what i'm freaking out i went to sleep yesterday and i was like what am i gonna do and i woke up and i was like what, what the f what the f is happening um <laughs> i'm so sorry um hopefully um i can watch this next episode without feeling too angry but actually this epi next episode is one a very chatty one and two nothing really happened like one major thing happens and then that's about it so what i think i'm going to do is actually episode 13 called uh soul trip to japan 2017 trip typhoon broke my strawberry umbrella the title says all there's like <laughs> no mystery about that so um what i think i'm gonna do is maybe watch the whole episode or watch the episode segment by segment and then give my notes afterwards <laughs> typhoon in japan so i made it sound very dramatic and it was like typhoon i never experienced a typhoon <laughs> little did i know that it happens like all the time in japan but uh it was a pretty big one and i was by myself and it was it was pretty scary for me um <laughs> i thought it was a big deal at the time that's what i'm gonna say so i think the next part is just a very chatty segment Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Change of plans. I was going to get up early, same as yesterday, and go to Arashiyama in Kyoto. But there's a typhoon. There's a friggin' typhoon at the moment, um, which is hitting the area today. So tomorrow, sorry, I don't have my tripod. So tomorrow it should be calmer ish. And I've been debating going back to Kyoto today because I went yesterday and it was raining all day non-stop right now i'm thinking i'm just gonna go to namba to the big like big old starbucks or something and just sit down there here's where it all goes wrong no where it goes all wrong i didn't read that okay so i'm going to the what is that tower called in namba is it namba sky tower or something sky the building. sky building i thought it might be a like covered observatory so I'm not gonna leave this camera out because there's a typhoon what the hell
gonna pause this segment there because right there I explained that I almost broke my camera <laughs> true almost broke my camera um, so I wanted to do something with my day so in the segment just before that I probably didn't include I talk about that I'm I only have three days days left after this one in the Osaka area where I wanted to see Nara Kyoto and Osaka <laughs> um, and I wanted to see the Arashiyama bamboo grove and you know I have like loads of things on my list that I want to see and only three days left I decided to go to Namba to the sky building because you know what I thought let's do something I need to do something with my day so I go to the I think it's just a sky building or something in Namba and I see there's an observatory and that it's open so I'm like you know there's a typhoon and but it's open so it's probably a closed observatory you know like with glass windows like the Tokyo sky tree you know <laughs> that's what I expected but no it was an open observatory and you can't see it you can't hear it in that segment but it was awful being up there but i paid for it to go like that extra uh, level up so i did a loop around tried to film a segment almost broke my camera trying to film that segment because it was so rainy and windy and you were up there and obviously you can take your umbrella and you had like just the rain and the wind in your face and it was just an awful experience altogether <laughs> i mean it's funny now but at the time i remember that i had walked from probably num one of the number stations like the jr or the normal metro station and i had gotten lost duh definitely remember i remember turning around a lot of time because i could see the building and i remember there was construction and i couldn't figure out how to go to the building so i had already walked in the rain arrived inside mm, nice and warm let's go to the observatory and then it rains again so <laughs> i definitely remember that day and then i remember being like okay like screw it let's go back downstairs like i think a few people went with me and had that same reaction and were like i'm not staying on the top of this building during like the beginning of a typhoon so went back down to the normal level with the windows and stuff tried to turn my camera on would not turn on freaked the f out because i was at the middle of my three week long i think that's three weeks trip and my camera was basically dead and i can't and i can't film with my old phone <laughs> it was crazy but as we all know everything turned out okay i dried my camera with like i dried i opened it up i after a while it started working again but i definitely freaked out at that time at that moment it's like what is what the hell am i gonna do <laughs> so in this segment i explained that i was scared and i think that after that i just go and try to get wi-fi it was a whole friggin mess of a day altogether because from what i remember I try to get Wi-Fi afterwards, I go to one cafe, the Wi-Fi sucks, I go to another, maybe another Starbucks or something, like, type of cafe, and the Wi-Fi sucks, so I know it took me a while to find a place where I could probably sit down and read my emails and, you know, get up to date on social media and stuff like that, so <laughs> it's kind of funny that Today, like present day Iku is angry and frustrated and it's raining outside and I'm frustrated about my situation and struggling to be optimistic. It's a funny coincidence that I'm frustrated today and I'm very frustrated in this video. So pretty sure that nothing really happens afterwards, but we'll see. It's a pretty cool building. Okay, 
this is where it ends. Uh, let, let's watch this little uh, segment. I walked around in Namba trying to find a decent internet connection, which I never found. The typhoon got worse as the day went on and I didn't want to risk flooding my camera. The dairy line stopped spreading so I had to cross back through the station to find a metro line to bring me closer to my Airbnb. I made it back walking the distance from the metro station to my Airbnb. Pouring rain and howling wind, but my trusty strawberry umbrella didn't survive the trip. And then I have this little segment with my strawberry umbrella. <laughs> I really liked that umbrella. It was a cheap thing, but it was I really liked it and I've never found the strawberry umbrella since. Like even its a replacement, even the replacement that I got for it is it's cool and all, but it's not as cool as a strawberry umbrella. So if you guys see a strawberry umbrella, send it to me, I'm pretty sure. It would cheer me up. Just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> R.I.P. Strawberry Umbrella This is so emotional, I'm tearing up <laughs> Thank you, my friend Yeah, so that is what happened Like I mentioned just before, uh, I looked for an internet connection Around number, couldn't find it went home with like if you can remember i don't remember which episode it was it wasn't was maybe the second one in osaka where i there are like two i think i think there are two number stations the jr number station and like the one with the other non-jr lines and they're so far away from each other that you know you have to go all the way through the station and i think it tastes and i'm pretty sure it takes at least 10 minutes. Maybe it felt long, maybe it wasn't that long. I don't know, but I, I feel like it was a long walk from one station to another, even though they're both Namba stations. I was looking for Wi-Fi and didn't find it. Decided to go back, but that's when the typhoon really started to kick in and the Jera lines closed down. I was like, how do I get back to my Airbnb? From what I can remember, it was a few stops. Uh, so it's not like I could walk from Namba to my Airbnb. I even tried to ask one of the staff and they were like, yeah, no, you're gonna have to take a taxi. Like they didn't even say, like, take the other train, which is really weird, but maybe we were like both lost in translation, uh, speaking half Japanese, half English. That might make sense. Uh, but like after a moment of freaking out, I walked, like I practically ran, like I, I walked, so I was like thing like fast walk, racing. <laughs> I was walking like this to the other side of the station to see if the other lines were working. And thank goodness they were, like why did that staff lady not tell me to just friggin' take the other lines? I don't know, but thankfully the other lines worked. I have a feeling that I had to change like maybe take one and then there was a straight line all the way to my to close by to my Airbnb and like I said it wasn't that far away it was maybe a few blocks away like the station not the JR station the other station maybe this is my I hope this is making sense but just walking from the, the metro station to my Airbnb it ruined my strawberry umbrella it like went upside down and then it broke and then it was never the same afterwards so r.i.p strawberry umbrella that was the time that it met its demise i brought it back with me <laughs> to belgium i still have it somewhere like in a treasure chest kind of thing uh but it's unusable so r.i.p strawberry umbrella we're gonna stop this episode here hopefully the next one i'm in better spirits i think the next one is let's see we go to Nara, so it's gonna be a better episode, I feel like. It's funnier and I see a lot of things and, uh, and after a typhoon, it's beautiful weather, which I hope is gonna happen with my mood. Sorry about my mood, guys. I really hope I didn't weigh you down. It does happen um, to everyone. I don't like to show it, but yeah. Hope you are feeling much better than I am. And if you're not, great big hug and uh, Pachi sleeping right here next to me so uh pet photos always always help right am i right anyway uh 
see you in the next one. I love you all. Uh, I didn't mention education is not tourism, but I feel like it's a given after all these episodes. This is episode 13, so education is not tourism. Ingrain in your head for any news about the Japanese borders and what a students, spouses, and workers are going through. Before I start yelling again, I'm gonna go. I love you all.